This morning we're going to look at the Phoenix posture from Yin style uh, Bagua Zhang. Uh, this is the Shun trigram represented by wind, uh, the windmill palm. Um, this is the uh, Yin Fu system through Men Bao Zhen, Xie Pei Qi, and Ho Jin Bao. So today we're just demoing uh, some of the ideas behind the shapes of the Phoenix. Uh, this isn't a self-defense class. Dusty and I aren't fighting. Um, I'm basically just um, playing around with some ideas on how you can use the different qualities of the Phoenix shape in a martial arts context. So the Phoenix posture itself, um, the first character of Phoenix is something called dodging. And it's not this overt dodging, but if you, if you look at the, um, the strike, or the posture rather, um, as I rotate and extend uh, this palm, and I do this to get as much distance as I can, so I release my waist, release my shoulder, and make this palm as far as I can, can go. As you can see, as I release my waist, I can gain some distance here. But at the same time, if you look at my center line, um, I do get offline. Just the fact of rotating, my head gets to shift a little bit. So I have two things going on at the same time. I'm getting nice distance with my palm, but I'm also uh, getting um, offline. Uh, so this is useful. Um, so if Dusty like touches my face, right? Like, and this is, you know, not unusual in any kind of striking art that is like, you know, I want to uh, slip a little bit, slip. So just like, you know, whatever. Yeah, just to, just to, um, all I get to do is rotate my shoulder just a little bit and often that's enough just to get out of the way. And so that's a common skill uh, in striking. But we can also add, um, you know, this, uh, this, this palm. So the same thing, it's like, oh, I can get out of the way, but I can also send this out uh, very quickly. You know, it could also come down here, but it's a nice little way. I'm not even necessarily stepping. Ideally, if you, I want to um, get into this habit of, of getting off to the side a little bit. So we have a, a few things going on. The shift with the waist, the step, that little bit of drop step and then uh, getting into uh, the shape. So, you know, once again, it's like here, here. Um, because, you know, I've trained a little bit, this hand naturally comes up. The other thing too is like, I can create a lot of distance here, but I can also like, you know, he, there's a lot of distance between here, but actually I can get to him <laughs> from here because this is a quite a long, um, long range type uh, weapon. And even though it's your palm, you know, I don't have an iron palm or anything, uh, but at the same time, if you're going after like, you know, throats and eyes or testicles or just trying to get someone's attention, um, fingers to the face um, usually gets them a little bit worried about getting uh, sliced or whatever. So once again, as a reaction, um, you're going to get their attention up here uh, for whatever getting out of there, whatever the situation is. The other thing I really like about uh, getting into this, uh, we have a direction change um, where uh, this arm rolls in, this arm comes down, and we have, uh, you know, what we call Liao Shou Pi, or the arcing um, chop strike that goes right into the Phoenix posture. This is a very common way uh, to end one of our forms is finish up with this uh, movement to get into a Phoenix. Uh, one of the things with Yin style Bagua is that it was told to me, uh, or how you practice is how you use it. So even though in our practice we develop qualities um, and embody the different aspects of the animals and the practices that we do, they're also the movements are, are designed to be used. And it's often just how you fit them into a martial arts context. But one of the ideas, and when the doctor would demo, he was oftentimes going like, you know, eyes or testicles, eyes or testicles. And you couldn't, you know, not pay attention because there's another saying in Yin Sta Bagua is if they block it, then it's fake. If they don't block it, then it's real. So, you know, if I'm going for the eyes and he blocks it, fine. If he doesn't block it, then it's a strike. Same thing with going for the uh, uh, testicles. But at the same time, so if you reach for my head, go ahead with this lead arm, um, the same idea of getting out of the way, um, I can also just get his attention down here. And um, that, you know, obviously that's gonna drop his hands or at least get him thinking and reacting. In which case I can, you know, get out of there or I can get into my next um, strike. Uh, but whether it's up high or down low, you're, the way Yin Style Bagua works, it's not necessarily a reactive martial arts. It's a little bit more proactive, at least the way it was taught to me. Um, so you want them responding to you so you can take the initiative. Um, 
So this Liao Shou P is the same kind of thing. It's like, um, I can uh, get out of the way, create distance or whatever, but I could also get him um, really concerned about uh, down here. And if he's not concerned about it, great. <laughs> you get it. But this plays right into this movement of, of uh, Liao Shou P. Another um, aspect is uh, with these basic movements from uh, Phoenix is that you have these kind of whipping, I call them like, kind of like nunchuck, uh, strikes that do have momentum. I'm not like I'm creating a structure moving through, I'm creating momentum with my body movement and the shape of my palm. But also as my body retracts and loads up for the next strike, I have this rolling quality. So it rolls, we call this like uh, transforming. In yin style bagua, there's also a lot of times where we're really rolling uh, with the arm and the forearm. But what this does, it creates a transforming force. We do it on the inside here, but we also do it on the outside. Um, what makes this useful is when we make contact, we can also uh, move through contact. So if I just do something like that and he puts up a nice block, um, you know, that's all well enough. Um, I, I do have some decent power here, but if I roll it, then when I make contact, it's, I can't really do it slow because it's not about like, like I don't have like in some of the other animals I might have more structure to roll through that. This is based on momentum, but at the same time, if I use my body method and a little bit of roll, I can really get into a, a nice position here. So hold this uh, nice and strong. Like, you know, this is a nice block, but then I can roll through. If you see that, roll through. So I make contact here and then roll it through. The body easily um, could block a one-to-one -one, uh, linear force, right? But when that force is spinning, you really can't block it. So I can come out here and, and uh, you know, do whatever, uh, get into a nice advantageous position, but he's not necessarily able to um, uh, block that. Of course, I'm stepping to the side, but I'm using this transforming quality. And this is getting to the outside. Um, this is also uh, the idea of kind of dodging and getting out of the way. The phoenix, being a yin animal, is has some aspects that are really aggressive, but it also is like getting out of the way. In uh, Bagua theory, it's the eldest sister. So, you know, lots of times it's just like, oh, just, just getting out of the way, um, getting him to, to cover up or react, and then just using my stepping to get behind, run away, or move on to the, to the next thing. Um, the same way I was using this outside strike to move through, you know, here I'm in a good uh, advantage, I'm dominating the center, but also with the other side too, um, this gets into the inside. The same thing, like if I just do this, he gets a nice block, like all said and done, uh, linear force on linear force, this is going to be an effective uh, block. But I can add a roll to that, and as you can see, it moves through the, the whole system. One to one, one to one, even if I'm like strong, it might kind of suck. But if I get a nice roll, then it creates that secondary rolling cylindrical uh, round force uh, into it. So it becomes very difficult uh, to block, you know, like, you know, to the side. And uh, once again, it's like, you know, you, it's not great to throw a haymaker and something that's far away. But at the same time with the shape, we are creating a bit of momentum with the strike. Um, so coming out here, it would start from here, uh, but at the same time, I can use that rule to uh, get off the center line and move around again. Yeah. So once again, if you're if you're playing around with a uh, striking art or, or boxing or sparring or you know whatever your chosen venue of, of training is, um, this is useful for getting into or overcoming a, a good guard. You know, um, if, if Dusty covers up and, you know, uh, he's protecting himself from, from strikes, uh, that's all, it's all well and good. Um, you're gonna run into that a lot. It's a good practice to cover up so you're not getting beat. Uh, but at the same time, this can, uh, you know, these motions with the Phoenix uh, can open up um, the guard pretty well. As far as like, um, you know, that's all good, but to, to uh, to open up for further strikes and further attacks, right? Um, and so, you know, if you have to have to be doing this and then you can use that roll. And I'm also obviously laying a fair amount of weight into that too. Like, flip, flip. Um, so I'm not, you know, through trading and through development, I'm not like using my arms and like whipping my arms around, you know, it's, 
if I'm using my arm, it's not very strong. Connecting it to my body, connecting it to my weight, using stepping, using the body method, um, you know, through training, getting everything connected, um, uh, the point of contact connected through my whole body. Um, I'm stretched, elasticated, I've created the shape. And so now I can move very easily through, you know, all that stuff and continue on with whatever striking or whatever uh, tactics or techniques you're using. Uh, but certainly making this part of your repertoire uh, as far as getting past like a, a guard or someone who's being really defensive, um, you can break through those defenses, create some advantages, getting, all, getting them off balance, setting up to either run away if that's your goal or to con continue on with the engagement. All right. So these are just a, a few ideas of uh, the Phoenix uh, from Yin Style Bagua Zhang. Uh, just some of the basic practices coming out of the, the posture. What's up? My name is Garth Reynolds. If you like the video, click the thumbs up, hit subscribe. If you're interested in learning more, uh, you can visit the site at Bagua Internal Arts. I just really like to share my experience with Yin Style Bagua Zhang and other internal arts. So hope to see you soon.